then sir i come to the item pertaining to the external affairs ministry in this connection i would like to submit that i am very glad that the honorable prime minister has made his stand very clear about kashmir and i wholeheartedly welcome it i am very glad to find that at long last after 2 years he has stated the stand of india clearly and therefore i wholeheartedly support the expenditure pertaining to the ministry of external affairs i would like to know in this connection only one thing although it does not really come under this ministry it comes under the ministry of finance i would like to know what steps are being taken by the finance minister about the settlement of the loan due to india from pakistan some 2 years back the honorable finance minister had taken a credit entry to nearly rupees 18 crores as two installments of the loan payment by pakistan i should call it the pre partition debt but that money was not received by india and that amount is still due from pakistan i would like to know from the finance minister why this amount of rupees 18 crores was shown as the loan paid by pakistan we have done our part of the bargain because in 1950 when pakistan wanted its share of the cash balances of the reserve bank india immediately paid rupees 55 crores to pakistan towards its share of the cash balance but pakistan has not kept its part of the bargain therefore i would like to know the steps taken by the finance minister to recover the debts due from pakistan there are so many other outstanding amounts due from pakistan for which the finance minister does not seem to have taken proper steps there is a continuous trade going on between india and pakistan there is plenty of transfer of funds between india and pakistan the honorable finance minister can take certain steps so that the exchange authorities which are transferring the amounts from one country to the other country can also bring pressure and help us in recovering the amounts probably the honorable minister being a lawyer may be thinking along judicial lines but i never thought along those lines i did not suggest that we should ask for a decree from the because that is quite impracticable but there is a practical method of doing it and that is through trade between the two countries then i come to the subject of grants in aid to the states sir more of these grants are made to the state governments